traditional Skyrim magic system a bit dull? While the vanilla Skyrim magic system has provided fun and challenge for many players, it also had its inconveniences. For example, there were the following issues. Firstly, the spellcasting mechanics were monotonous and cumbersome. Essentially, it involved charging spells and repeatedly casting them, which could become tedious over time. Especially with the introduction of the modern combat overhaul system for melee combat, the magic system remained unchanged. Secondly, it lacked diversity in actions. Apart from charging and casting spells, there weren't many other actions available. In melee combat, there are various functions like blocking, bashing, power attacks, and sprint power attacks. But magic largely consisted of the endless repetition of charging and casting spells. Therefore, in this video, we've prepared a guide on groundbreaking ways to enjoy Skyrim with the latest mage concept in 2023. We've gathered a wide range of mods, from well-established ones to upcoming innovative releases that haven't been officially launched yet, but are worth keeping an eye on. So, you can expect a lot. Let's dive right in. To address the aforementioned shortcomings of the magic system, a reconstruction of behaviors is necessary. Fortunately, creator Xing is in the process of revamping the magic system by introducing new behaviors related to magic. One of his creations that has recently caught my attention is the Ritual Magic Behavior Expansion, Note Magic Master. The Ritual Magic Behavior Expansion extends master-level ritual magic and incorporates a new musical note attack. When you equip Ritual Magic in both hands and press the binding key, you can bind different spells to each hand. In this bound state, the animation of the magic changes, allowing you to use the musical note attack. By introducing this unique concept to the magic system, it brings a fresh and exciting dynamic to the Skyrim magic experience. Say goodbye to the magic system where upper and lower body movements are separate. The basic magic charging system implements synchronized upper and lower body movements, such as those seen in the MCO. You unleash spells in order, right hand followed by the left hand, and pressing the right hand again gathers both hands to cast lightning. Upon transitioning to the second phase, you can charge up and bestow a powerful magic attack all at once, potentially turning the tide of battle. However, Jing's motion for casting magic is somewhat lengthy, leaving you vulnerable to attacks. To address this, a dodge attack has been added. You can quickly dodge backward and launch a spell at the enemy. The standout feature of this mod is the Musical Note attack. This attack can be fired with left click and right click. After completing two Musical Note attacks, you can use Ritual Magic or Ultra Musical Note Magic in the next attack. Ultra Musical Note Magic applies a unique system called QTE, Quick Time Event, requiring you to press specific keys in a specific sequence to successfully cast the spell. Ultra Musical Note, Magic possesses potent effects. Since this incredible mod is currently in development, it's worth keeping an eye on its progress especially if you consider yourself a true Skyrim mage. Next up is New Staff School Act 2 Duet. This mod addresses the monotony of vanilla staves, allowing for the firing of different types of spells through various actions and payloads. With this mod, you can use self-type spells to apply buffs to yourself using a staff, and it adds a separate set of magic behaviors from MCO's one-handed melee actions. Although I introduced this mod once in the past, it has been steadily improving through consistent updates. One notable enhancement is the increased variety in magic casting animations using staves. Now, you can enjoy more dynamic staff casting animations. This mod not only allows you to fire existing staff spells, but also enables the use of additional spells. When using a staff in blocking or sneaking states, it triggers unique animations alongside the spell. 
It also transitions into a special state called chant, making staff combat more engaging. When used in conjunction with the previously mentioned ritual magic, these mods can perfectly reconstruct your magic system. Since they reconstruct the magic system and effects and maintain high quality movesets, there's no need for additional motion customization. Personally, I highly recommend this combination for a powerful overhaul of your magic system. In addition to Xing's mods mentioned earlier, using Eldritch Blast alongside them would be a great choice. Xing's mods often involve a lengthy charge time for casting spells. However, if you use Eldritch Blast first, it can knock back enemies, making it more convenient to charge spells. The motion of Eldritch Blast complements that of a mage very well, and it uses a shouting key, so it doesn't overlap with Xing's special keys, making it a suitable complement. However, please note that Eldritch Blast won't trigger when using Xing's ritual magic or when a staff is equipped. To use Eldritch Blast efficiently, you'll need to quickly switch to an unarmed state using an unarmed hotkey. Despite this, I believe Eldritch Blast is an excellent addition for a mage concept. Next, I'd like to introduce some weapon and moveset mods that can complement the unique mage concept along with the previously mentioned mods. First up is Hogwarts in Skyrim. If you find unarmed magic or staves a bit dull, registering a wand on your hotkey and switching to it for use can add more fun to your mage gameplay. Wands can unleash various magical effects like fire, frost, lightning, and gravity based on your directional input. This will give more vitality to your mage concept playthrough. Next, Blade Staff and Dragon Age Moveset is also worth considering. This mod allows you to use both magic and movesets through a unique quarterstaff. Many players might already be familiar with this concept. While the process of equipping multiple items might be a bit cumbersome for players delving into the magic arts, this mod is worth paying attention to. Next, let me introduce some outfits tailored for mage characters. First off, we have Coco's Mysterious Mage outfit. This attire adds a distinctive elven mage style costume. It comes in three different colors, and overall, it gives off a sleek suit-like vibe, emphasizing the body lines. If you're looking for a sexy mage concept, this outfit is a good choice. Next up is Dint's Sorceress's outfit from Dragon's Crown. This outfit includes sleeves, a skirt, stockings, heels, and even a mage's hat, providing a complete mage-themed ensemble. Personally, I believe it's one of the most fitting outfits for a mage concept. The SMP effects are also well applied, making the skirt's physics stand out, resulting in an overall fantastic outfit. Thirdly, we have a custom cosplay outfit featured in this video. It consists of a bunny girl bikini, white tights and shoes topped with a black jacket. To add a touch of cuteness, I also wore an animal ear headband and a tail. Details for each piece are displayed in the video, so if you like this outfit customization, I encourage you to give it a try. Next up is the Vindictus White Witch. This outfit, perfect for a mage with its white color scheme, is one of my personal favorites that I enjoy using alongside the sorceress outfit mentioned earlier. It adds a touch of fantasy sensibility to really make your character stand out. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the groundbreaking ways to immerse yourself in the latest mage concept for Skyrim in 2023. I hope you found these tips and mods as exciting as I did. Remember, the adventure doesn't end here. Stay tuned for more epic Skyrim content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this guide helpful. Until next time, happy adventuring, mages.